Fun fact, onions are the only agricultural product in the U.S. that it's illegal to trade futures on, and that's because of a man named Vince Kasuga. Vince Kasuga was an onion farmer from New York, but he wanted to be the onion king. He partnered with futures trader Sam Siegel, and they bought as many onion future contracts as they could. By the winter of 1955, Vince and Sam owned 98% of the available onions in the U.S. And since they owned all the onions, Vince and Sam could now set the price, and they raised the price of a bag of onions to $2.75, at the same time taking out short positions on onion futures. In March of 1956, Vince and Sam flooded the market with onions. There was a never-ending flow of onions into the marketplace, which drove the price of a bag of onions down to 10 cents. This wiped out traders with long positions on onion futures, who were now stuck with hundreds of pounds of worthless onions. But the scheme made Vince and Sam $8.5 million, around $90 million in today's money. This caused many onion farmers to go bankrupt, and many people complained to Congress. In 1958, the Onion Futures Act was signed into law, which banned futures trading on onions, and still to this day makes it hard for onion farmers to plan their crops and accurately lock in prices.